Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got um, Uncle Snoop man. You know what I'm saying? Maybe collaborating with Diddy of all people. You see what I'm saying? I mean, you know. Um, uh, we got Tory Lanez throwing um, some more Twitter shots at uh, what's her name, uh, Megan Stallion man. We also got uh, what is it? The, attor- the attorney got something to say even about the the Tory case. You follow what I'm saying, man? Um. A little bit about what's going down with Ukraine. That's right, your boy be into geopolitics. You know what I mean? Uh, Kodak Black explaining what women what women got to do to sign to his label. Um, we got Lizzo, and uh, that's about it. Hey, yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that, man. Yo, that notification bell's waiting for you to tap it, man. So go on and give it a tap. And that subscribe button's okay. waiting for you for your subscription, man. So go on and hit that subscribe button, man. You know what I'm saying? We don't got all day, fam. You follow know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, check this out, man. Just to keep you up tonight, right? If you live in the Lake Tahoe area of California, man, and you and you happen to hear something rustling around in your kitchen tonight, it might not be a someone. It might actually be Hank the Tank. <laughs> Look at you ladies getting all hot and bothered. Relax. Hank the Tank is not bruh man from the fifth floor. You see what I'm saying? Yo, so we got a clip of bruh man on deck. That's right, lady. Bruh bro, man's not going to ro- roll up in your crib, all right? So relax, okay? However, Hank the Tank may definitely roll up in your crib. You know what I'm saying? A 600-pound black bear is running up in people's cribs and eating their food, man. <laughs> they saying nobody has been able to deter Hank. He's a black bear. So the local police have tried to haze the bear with paintballs, beanbags, sirens, and tasers. But they're saying since he's a black bear, residents have called the police about Hank more than a hundred times since July. So what's Hank doing? Hank is just looking for something to eat. You see what I'm saying? R- residents say Hank the, the black bear is gentle and sweet, just like Frankenstein, right? Who was also treated like a ninja, right? <laughs> Hilton, let's jump in into memories best celebrated together, where time away means us time. And he's he's gentle and sweet, and when he breaks into a home, <laughs> why do you gotta use words like break into a home for this black bear? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like he's doing a B and E or something. He's a bear. <sighs> anyway, look. They say uh, he's far more interested in food than people who may be inside. He just sits there and he eats. He doesn't attack people. He doesn't growl. And he doesn't make rude faces. Close quote. That's what they said. Look, Hank the Tank needs an EBT card, man. Let's just call it what it is, okay? Don't kill Hank the Tank. They, give, him a, give him a debit card. They say hey, they want to euthanize Hank the Tank, right? And, and, and all he needs really is a trip to Walmart and, and a debit card. You follow what I'm saying, man? He just sits there and eats. He, he doesn't attack. He doesn't gr- He doesn't make rude faces. That's what they said, rude face. Ain't that a strange thing to say, rude faces? You're like, I ain't tuning in for this. All right, here's what you did tune in for. Lizzo. You're like, oh, that's quite the transition. Don't, don't, you know what I'm saying? Please. All right, check this out. Lizzo has decided once again to express to us that being famous and rich is not all that is cracked up to be. First off, I always like to um, go out here. I like Lizzo's music. I really like her music. I like what she does with her music. And I like how um, how self-confident she always comes off. Like, the way she is about herself. I love her self-confidence. And yo, ain't nothing more attractive than confidence. You know that, right? You know what I'm saying? Now, um... So she said being rich and famous is not all that it's cracked up to be, right? And, and this, what, what makes that kind of weird to me is that she always seems to be like super happy when she's posting naked pics of herself. But as you should already know, how a person looks and acts on social media is nowhere near an indicator of how they actually feel internally. So don't be fooled by what you see on video. Nevertheless, Lizzo posted the following, and hey, yo, take a look. I hope that the industry can see the value in bigger bodies, darker skinned bodies, and getting them jobs, getting them booked, busy, and blessed because we are valuable and we are talented and we can do anything just as good as anybody else. And sometimes, so up your coin 
because we coming. <laughs> Watch out for the big girls. <laughs> Why is he slowing down looking at me for, man? Don't slow down look at me, man. You know what I mean? Like he know me. I don't know you, bro. Anyway, look, uh, Lizzo said, fame, ha quote, fame happens to you and it's more of an observation of you. People become famous and it's like, my DNA didn't change. Nothing changed about me. My anxiety didn't go away. My depression didn't go away. The things that I love didn't go away. Why would the things you love go away? I'm still myself, but the way y'all look at me and perceive me has changed. It's a very weird kind of formless thing. I think it's because when you became famous, all, all your pictures were naked. Right? And like we like the folks around you probably weren't used to that. And now like they, they they probably wanted to see you naked, but you never was down for it. And you know what I'm saying? And now you became famous and you can't stop being naked. Anyway, I could be wrong. Maybe she was always naked around her buddies. I don't know. Look, she said, quote, I don't want to seem ungrateful. It was sad, and I had to talk to my therapist about the loss of who I was. Close quote. Ain't that kind of interesting, man? It, it, it's like the image you create is so believable, people begin to actually think you are the person you played on camera. I, I guess it's like belief. Shout out to the keys, man. I, I guess it's like believing um, that... Like when people think that they're actually tough because they've been playing a tough role on camera, because that like like on social media they've always been tough. Well, yo, um, that, that reminds me of that joint. Yo, what's that? What's it remind me of, Source? Yeah, exactly. You know, there were times when I was doing Jack that I actually felt retarded, like really retarded. Yeah. In a weird way, I had to sort of just free myself up to believe that it was okay to be stupid or dumb to be moron. Yeah, to be miraculous. Exactly. To be a moron. An imbecile. Yeah. Like the dumbest motherfucker that ever lived. For a retard, man. Never go for a retard. Now, now, hopefully that played. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, <laughs> look, just in case it didn't, that man said, never go for a retard. You know what I'm saying? In other words, when you're acting on, on social media or you're an artist or you're an actor, don't start acting out what you're projecting as an artist. That's going for a retard. Don't get all mad at me because your cousin's retarded. You know what I'm saying? Please, all right? You know what the cuff I mean. You know what I'm saying? And he said it on camera. You ain't getting mad then. They want to come looking for me because I'm the little guy. Anyway, check this out. Lizzo ended her post by saying most people, um, most famous people have been famous just as long as they've been a person. I don't think that's true, Lizzo. So they've been acclimated more to it. I was going into dive bars and getting ished faced in 2018 and nobody knew who I was and nobody was bothering me. It's And something tells me you had your clothes on too. Um, uh, close quote. Do you see now why Zap 70 that we don't need to be on camera? Because, uh, look, if your boy Celeb goes on camera, right? Then the women will start crowding all around me. They gonna want to be with your boy. You know what I'm saying? They'll never leave me alone. You know what I mean? They'll be talking about me all the time. They'll be saying my name by accident when getting intimate with you. You know what I'm saying? And you're gonna get mad at me. You're gonna be looking for me. I don't need that kind of energy in my life. You see what I'm saying? Please. Um, what's my time looking like over here, man? All right, check this out, man. Kodak made a real odd statement that should raise a few eyebrows, man. It, it, it kind of certainly disgusted me. Um, it's on some Harvey Weinstein type ad-ish. You know what I'm saying? Don't be looking at me like that. You ain't heard what he said yet. L listen, Kodak made a statement, right? Um, he basically said, basically, quote, 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 basically I told Miami and um, Dream Doll, Y'all got to let me smash because your music is a little trash. What about me? What about Yak? <laughs> Close quote. I should have did it in his voice, right? <laughs> he then added, Look, my female artist, this is just how it is, right? Because I don't have an ish like that. I got to bust them. They ain't got to be my girlfriend, but it's like, I'm going to bust them. You heard? Close quote. Oh, Sadly, man. we did. You know what I'm like he also discouraged his lady artists from having boyfriends because she, the, the, the female artists would be more unavailable to him musically or in other ways. <laughs> look at you holding in your vomit. Look, look, look. Uh, Ain't that some Harvey Weinstein ad-ish? You know what I'm saying? You're like, well, you want you to just cuss because I don't want to. Look, listen. Can you imagine giving that up and then getting the job and the job is okay. You know what I'm saying? Then years later, you'd have to look back regretfully at what you had to do to get a job you ain't even in love with. Listen, ladies, my sisters, okay? 
nothing is worth your dignity. You follow what I'm saying, man? Now, I don't care what the job is. It is not worth your dignity, okay? You want to be able to look at yourself in the mirror and like and respect the person looking back. Real talk. 20 you years. Me? Years man. later, you'll be proud of the person that was like, man, cuff out of here with that. For a job? Rapping? Get the hell out of here. Sorry. You know what I'm saying? Now, you don't have to listen to your boy, right? But at least I want what's best for you, which is to love and respect the person that looks back at you in the mirror. That's you know what I'm saying? Why I'm not yeah, you, you, you got right mad that, right? That's what I'm trying to tell you, man. Not you got to, to remember to, to remind other people of that because other people will try to come along and act like Ten you have down. very little value and they will try to treat you down accordingly. You come Make sure you treat people like you, you like come up you Make sure people understand that you got high value for yourself. Then they should treat you accordingly. Right. If they don't, you don't need them in your life. You know what I'm saying? But let me do my shout outs real quick, man. You know what I mean? Um, always remember, man, confidence is attractive, man. I don't know. I, I be telling my, I tell my students that all the time. I say, yo, confidence is attractive, man. Don't be, because they, they stay in their phone looking at themselves in, in, in the phone all day. Anyway, check this out. Shout out to, um, uh, well, I don't know about that. Right, look, Truth Seeker said, um, Truth Seeker said, Jesus is not Yahweh. The scriptures clearly say Christ was his first creation. Nothing in the scriptures say they're the same people. Bro, don't come out over here as if a brother don't know the scripts. You know what I'm saying? I've been studying the scriptures for over 20 years. I don't know hip hop news. I know the scriptures, fam. Okay, Jeremiah 23, I got